Hey folks, this is Brian Ludden with Pinnacle Property Group. And today uh, we are finishing up a three car, three bedroom, three bath Marlin with a 90 degree corner and a extended pool deck. And wanna give you a quick tour and some of the features uh, that you can find as far as in this house that the customer uh, enhanced or upgraded to. So let's go walk inside. All right, so let's uh, first point out over here, we have a nice eight by 24 plank tile. Uh, this is a level two tile uh, that we can do as far as in the Marlin floor plan. Um, also a really nice feature that we have here, we have the 90 degree corner. And the homeowner added some additional cabinets over here to the right. In the dinette area, um, you can see it's gonna be a flat top and then below you have uh, room for a wine oven. We have the quartz countertops over here. And then what we did is we wrapped the island. They went with the 50-50 sink, a nice, refrigerator with French door below. Uh, under cabinet lighting with a upgraded backsplash. And then this question happens, or we get this question a lot as far as the type of uh, stove that you can go with. This is a, uh, a uh, stove that has the bottom, which is flat. So it gives you that nice, sleek look. And again, over here, we have the Lazy Susan. And a nice kitchen pantry. So let's just walk out into the pool area real quick. Again, we have the 90 degree slider. We are pre-plumbed for a summer kitchen. And then a nice little feature here too, I'm gonna stand over here on this side, is we got the roll down screen. So this is always great for people who are looking to build with a Southern or Eastern or Western exposure. Um, this is rated for storm protection and also gives you some protection as far as from the sun coming into your lanai area also. The roll down screen is built by StormSmart, so you can go onto the website and for more information, find out this product. Um, here we have the sun shelf for this uh, Marlin pool layout, wet steps over here in the corner. And the homeowner then decided that they wanted to take and extend the pool deck all the way out over here to the end. So this is a nice little feature. Plus, they added a slider off of the rear bedroom. So you can see there's ample room over here for outdoor furniture and sitting area. Um, plus whoever's staying uh, in this back bedroom can open and basically almost have their own private area. Over here, we have included in our Marlin and Up series is our outdoor shower, which is both hot and cold. All right, we're gonna go check out the two bedrooms over here in our pool bath. So the first area that I wanna point out is here is the pool bath. And this question comes up all the time. What is a, this is a bypass glass door that is framed above. 
and it has a handle on the outside and also has a handle on the inside. So I just wanted to point this out because I know it comes up a lot of times as far as in color out, but to kind of give you a visual of what it would look like. All right, so let's go into the back bedroom that is off of the back of the pool cage where we added the sliding glass door over here. Um, carpet is gonna be going in here next week, uh, just to let you know. And uh, this is a nice little feature because this room here is a very similar size to the master bedroom size. So if you are looking to do possibly a vacation rental, um, or if you have an in-law staying with you, um, this is a great size bedroom, especially when you add this sliding glass door off the back. And it also comes with a nice size walk-in closet. All right, so we are going to the rear bedroom. And this has a in-suite bathroom plus a walk-in closet. So this bathroom has a tub in it with a single vanity. So this is a, also a nice feature, um, great for vacation rentals and then also great for guests um, or if you have someone who stays with you full time, they have their own in-suite bathroom. Okay, so now we are going to the laundry room where the homeowner uh, went with the upper cabinets above with the crown finishing. So this is a nice little feature. Also add some additional storage. So let's check out the master bedroom area. The homeowner took the tile from the great room and brought it into the master bedroom area, which is very common. So over here we have the eight by 24 plank tile. Again, a one foot tray with crown. And we have our two side windows over here also. So we're gonna go check out the master bathroom. First, let's point out here, we have our pocket door that separates the master bedroom to the master bathroom. And we're gonna show you some cool features inside as far as what the bench and niche and the locations of those. So let's go walk and take a look at those. All right, folks, we are inside the master bathroom in First, I wanna point out we have the dual vanity sinks. And again, the homeowner went with the sparkling white quartz countertop. Um, inside the master shower, uh, we have a standard shower head, also a rain shower. And then just to point out that we do have a bench and a niche inside the knee wall. So this is a, a nice little feature that can be added. Thank you for watching this walkthrough tour of our Marlin three bedroom, three bath, three car garage uh, at 2,168 square feet. Um, if you're looking to build and you wanna find out more information about building with Pinnacle, please check out our website at pinnaclebuildingsolutions.com. If you're in the market for a lot, a resale, or you're looking to sell your home in Southwest Florida, please check out our website at PinnaclePropertyGRP.com. Until next time, I'm Brian Ludden with Pinnacle Property Group.